Hi guys, it's Neural Master, and welcome back to another Redstone video. In this video, I will be showing off my binary to BCD decoder. Uh, if you don't know what BCD is, it's a really helpful code that is really easy to display on screens. You can easily decode binary, uh, you can easily decode BCD into segments, seven segments for uh, displaying on screens. So I'm going to be using this on my calculator that I said I was going to make in uh, one of my videos. Um, so basically what BCD allows you to do is instead of having a huge number of decoder lines like in the case of 8 bits that would be 255 different decoder lines and then 255 different ROM lines for the numbers to display on the screen you only need one of these uh, these things per digit for decimal and then the decoder to BCD. Um, I'm just going to quick explain what BCD is. If you don't know what BCD is, it's a code that represents numbers in decimal using binary. So each decimal digit is encoded into 4-bit binary. So 1s, 10s, hundreds. So if I want to encode a uh, number like 255 into BCD, it would be 0010 for hundreds, which is 2, and then 0101 for tens, which is 5, and then 0101 for ones, which is also 5, so 255. So that would be 255 in BCD. Now, what's so good about this is, as I explained already, you can decode that one in directly into a uh, number for a screen and you can do each of these separately instead of having to do them all from one decoder line out of 255 decoder lines you can just use it's modular basically so you can expand this as many as you want like for 16 bits you would need 65,535, I believe, decoder lines. Um, or uh, a lo slightly larger version of this and uh, like five of these instead. There's three of these here. So it's much, much more efficient to use this. Uh, this is, it uses an algorithm called double dabble. I'm not going to explain how it works in this video, but basically it takes the number, shifts it, sees if the number is greater than 4 in any BCD digit, and if it is, it adds 3, and then it keeps going. Um, if you really want to know, look it up. I'm probably going to make a tutorial on it eventually as well. Um, so uh, let's just uh, see it in action, since I've been net rambling for a while. Um, so this is reverse binary just because of how the screen is set up. Uh, since the least significant digit is on the right, then uh, from this angle, the least significant digit has to be on the right from here, which means that this is reversed. So that that would be one. So uh, that's one. If I just turn that one on. So uh, I can. I can display any number with 8 bits from this. So uh, let's just see what. That's 128. Uh, let's just. I'll show you right here coming out of the decoder. One. Here, I'll separate it. That's one digit. That's another digit. And then that's the other digit. So 128. Since that's 8 in binary. Right here is 2 in binary, and right here is 1 in binary. So then it goes through the screen decoders here and comes out as 128 on the screen. Um, another example, uh, let's just turn all, turn all of them on. Uh, that, that would make 255, like I showed you in the example. So 255 on the screen, um, just to show it right here as well. Two hundred and fifty five. Two hundred and fifty 
five. So yeah, it's pretty cool. You can um, display numbers very efficiently with this. Um, and this device right here is also modular. So uh, I can expand this out just by copying these units. Um, these units are pretty much as small as you can make them in terms of, uh, that's 15 by the way, I entered 15. Um, these units are pretty much as small as you can make them like this way. There's there's other ways to make decoders like this, but um, this particular way, this is about as small as it get. Uh, it's five long um, per unit, so really small, and also two ticks per unit, so it's pretty fast as well. Um, there are there are other ways of doing it, like um, you can do it in serial uh, and make it smaller. I haven't done that. I might play around with that, but since a lot of people have already been doing it, I probably won't. I don't know. I'll just mess around with it. Uh, let me show another example of this in action. Let's just uh, do. Let me think here. Um, one. Maybe nine. Uh, 64, that's 73, why not, oh, <coughs> 73, so, um, yeah, it's pretty cool, uh, I'm going to be using this in my calculator, um, my calculator is probably going to be more than 8 bits, though, so, yeah, uh, a couple more things I want to note before I end the video is, uh, I'm gonna be updating the world download so you guys can use this because it is really useful. Um, it's a really useful thing to be able to use since you can decode your binary into uh, into screen displays. And here's the screen display over here, just without um without the uh, two tick repeaters that I added for the pistons here. Since I added two tick repeaters for these pistons because they were block dropping, um, when I use when I make my calculator, I'm gonna make it lamps instead, just so I don't have these slow delay and stuff. But yeah. And one more final note is that I was finally unlazy enough to actually get recording software, so there's no Bandicam logo up here anymore. Yay. Um. So yeah. Anyways. Um. Thanks for watching, and I'm end the video off just with another one. Uh, Stu64. Uh, that's 64. And uh, so, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm probably going to do a tutorial on how to do Double Dabble sometime. Uh, so, look forward to that. And um, so, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.